we just met up with Chip and Wendy here on the way to Vermilion Point, which is another old life-saving station dating like back more than probably a hundred years. So let's go check that out. And then we've got some cool waterfalls, which actually are the second most voluminous waterfalls in the whole Eastern United States, second only to the Mississippi River. I Googled that last night. So anyways, we're gonna go check that stuff out and it's gonna be a good day. One of the original buildings is, is still here, and uh, but sadly the lighthouse is not. And now this whole this whole region uh, uh, surrounding this point is a nature preserve and a biological station. And this is critical piping plover habitat, which is kind of a an, an icon for the area. Lake Superior State University in Sault Ste. Marie, just uh, east of here, they'll send students out here in the summertime, and they'll they'll monitor the, the birds. They'll, they'll build crates over uh, over the eggs for predators. Oh, uh, what happened here in the 60s? Yeah, uh, the 60s, from my understanding, that I learned in that book, uh, this became a, a, a big party place uh, for uh, four-wheel vehicles. They would, they would come out here, and the buildings, my understanding, is lost all their windows. It became just a, a big party place. Maybe it's better we don't document that. <laughs> Quamanon Falls Brewery and has Ooh. a fascinating story. <laughs> Got your attention. <laughs> has a fascinating story that the family that once had that logging camp there um, sold uh, sold to the state some land so people could enjoy I think the. They, don't, they donated it. Donate, they they donated it to yep. the uh, to the state so people could enjoy the falls. Then after years of negotiation with the state, we're able to open a brewery right adjoining the state, the state park. Oh, cool. People love it. That probably wraps it up. So, big thanks to Greg for hosting us. Big thanks 
to Chip and Wendy for kind of guiding us around, showing us what to do, where to go. Thanks to all the other locals who are keeping this community alive and keeping everything flowing well. It's super cool to see all these big groups of sledders out here really having a good time all winter long. So we're super stoked to see that. You guys have a good time? Whoa. Chloe, what did you yeah. think about trail riding compared to riding the mountains of Alaska? It's a lot different. <laughs> I miss the mountains, but this was really fun. I got up to like 90 miles per hour today, so I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> awesome.